They don't want to live in trash either. You are looking at video of two men putting garbage in a sack. To be blunt, one is homeless, the other, Gary Mack, is not. He's the guy in the black t-shirt. For him, this is the result of a years-long process. First, a few years ago on the Springwater Corridor, there was a lot of families, so I felt real bad. And then for a while, I just felt mad. Now I realize that there are people who need help. And Mac is determined to provide that help. So this regular retired guy and his dog, Alex, have been out here in the camps 10 hours a week for the past year, picking up trash it. that so many of us see in you person know. or on TV yeah, and ignore. He called this it, pile it exhausting. Been. It is enabling, but the, nobody's going anywhere, I don't think. And uh, it has to be done. Granted, Mac wishes someone else would do this. The mayor's office tonight confirming they can't put dumpsters at every random campsite. And this one is on ODOT land. But last year, they spent $1.5 million, more money than ever, on livability services. That includes things like porta potties and trash pickup, as well as cleaning cleared camps. For some neighbors here, the need for any of that is frustrating. What's it like at night? I don't like it. This woman lives in a house near the multi-use path and campers, she says, yell and fight at night. She adds homes have been broken into. Trash is the least of her concerns. Very dangerous me. Really dangerous. Very dangerous. Mac knows cleaning up litter won't solve these problems, but it's all he knows to do. And campers are grateful. It shows that, that somebody cares, you know, um, and it's just, and is doing something about it. Now, Max says he plans to keep doing this indefinitely, and he hopes others join in. By the way, the mayor's office and ODOT both also encourage that. Back to you.